Right, so this POE is to test the solubility of two different substances. We have vegetable oil and we have salt. Uh, and I've filled up uh, two beakers with warm water, uh, approximately 200 millimetres each. So it's very simple, we're just adding these two substances to the warm water, stirring and then basically making some observations. So very, very simple experiment. We've already made our aim and our prediction. Okay, and can someone please repeat to me their aim that they put down? Don't get your face on camera, but just verbalise it. Yes, Thomas? Um, we're seeing, uh, to find out how, um, so how things dissolve. Not bad. Who wants to have another go? Forever? Uh, to see how to... No. Talia. Yeah, um, our aim of this experiment is to find out how two different substances dissolve. Excellent. Very good. Okay, then we could change it as well. There are a few improvements we could make on that, but we'll leave it for now. So we've got some ordinary table salt. I'm simply sprinkling some in. Remember, what are we looking for? For something to be a solution, what must it be? Starts with T. Got all the answers, Talia. Transparent. Transparent. So we know if it's not transparent, it cannot be a solution. Okay, so at the moment it's not a solution because I can see all the chunks of salt in the bottom. So at the moment it's not, but all we need to do is stir it up. Now, I did this yesterday uh, for 7K. And I said, uh, how would you know if I gave you a beaker just like that, whether it was a solution or not? And indeed, whether it's a mixture or not. Remember, a solution is just a type of mixture. And I said, yeah, I can see the difference. I can see the difference. And I said, surely not. You cannot see the difference before and after the salt. What do you guys reckon? No. I don't yes. think so. Danielle thinks yes. Well, I'm going to give you a test, Danielle. Okay, so there, completely dissolved, there is no more grains, we have made a solution, a mixture, called a solution, and it is salt and water. Okay, but to anyone that just came across that, they would not think that is a mixture, they would think that is a, just a substance called water, uh, but they would be wrong. And can someone remind me, how could we definitely separate this out? Do her? Uh, you evaporate the water. We could evaporate off the water. Now, if Danielle, if you think this is true, I'm going to do a little trick called switcheroo. So can you please turn your back, face the board. All right, let's remember which one it is. Okay, so keep your eyes on it. Still got our eyes on it? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. I think I know which one it is. Now, Danielle, can you come and identify the one that is the salt solution? I mean, she's got a 50-50 chance of getting it right, so... Don't get your face in, just point to the one you think it is. Say left or right. Um. And for this to be a really good test, we'd get Danielle to do it ten times. Just once, just once isn't enough. Yeah, that's it. Have a good look. I'm, I'm not saying you're, you're, you're not right. I'm, I'd be interested to know if you can pick it or not. I'm not making a fool of you. I just want to know. If it is indeed, you can identify it. Is she right? Yes. yes, you were. Very good. So if you can tell, you could. All right, good. Yeah, this one. I think I was like, I have an inclement water. Because it looked dark. Never do this in the laboratory, you just taste it. Yep, that's it. So that's the salt water. Next demonstration vegetable oil. Stop it. It was the one with more water as well. Did it have slightly more water? No, it was less water. Less water. It was that one. Yep. So vegetable oil, let's just put a squirt in. Oh. Okay, so we can see, uh, just like the salt at the start though, it doesn't dissolve, but maybe it will if we give it a really good stir. I've got to say the same. It won't, it'll just go back to the salt. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that's a lot of things. It has to be boiled water to dissolve. It's hot water. It's hot. If it, you would just leave water. it, it's going straight back to the juice. And maybe you want to zoom in on that, Lachlan. Just show that uh, indeed that vegetable oil has just remained on the surface. So it's remained uh, undissolved, what we call insoluble substance, and it has not dissolved there. So we conclude that salt is soluble and vegetable oil is insoluble in water at least. It's anyway. broken down. 
just as an interesting aside. It'll go back to you with us. I've got more sooner or later. Definitely got more bits. This is not making the oil dissolve, but it helps spread out. It's detergent. Okay, oh, yeah. it helps spread out the oil. This is not oh, really a test of solubility, but it's just interesting to look oh. at. Oh. I might even put a little bit more in, just to make sure. So, mm. we okay. add in some ordinary detergent, and lo and behold, it seems like the oil has vanished. It's no longer sitting on the surface. Has it dissolved? Yes or no? No. 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 What is the proof? You can sort of you can see, still it. see it. It's cloudy. You can still see it, and it's cloudy. It's not solutions, it solutions must be transparent, and it's risen to the top a little bit as well. You were going to say that too. Okay, so you can turn that off now, Lachlan.